I'll start recording now. Um. All right, so hey guys, let's talk Infinity Skies. Let's do it. Hey. All right, Tito, yeah, good. good. Is, your, is your name Trisha? Yeah. Yeah. All right. How's it going, Trisha? Good. How are you? All, all is well. All is well. Good. So it's Monday morning. It's wait. It's Monday morning in the states, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. Awesome. So, what's the latest on, what's the latest on Infinity Skies? I guess you're probably just catching up now after the weekend as well. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we, um, yeah, things are moving forward. We are pretty far along in development. We, um, actually, for you guys to know, we should have our updated roadmap out really soon. Um, so that'll be helpful for you guys. Um, when it comes to content, just being able to have our, you know, our actual roadmap. Um. Out, and then we're still creating um, our new website, which is still a couple weeks out as well. Um, but yeah, things are moving forward. We're um, kind of broadening our scope into, you know, um, some Asian communities and things like that. But yeah, we're, we're progressing. But I think once the roadmap is out, it'll be helpful for everybody to see who works with us because you'll have a better idea of when things are going to happen. So. Well, there was a partnership announcement recently. What was that about? Uh, which one? There's two of them, I think. Um, 6K starter or? Yeah, it looked like a kind of like an investment kind of deal or something like that. Zero, zero X venture or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, X venture, they're just partners that we have, um, that have kind of been with us early on as like early backers. We just hadn't put out a partnership group. We just hadn't put out an announcement yet about it, so. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, because you guys did like a C, you guys did like, uh, like a round, like a round, like a funding round, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did a C sale, and then, um, we're just now closing up our private sale. Um, but they have been with us for a while now. So yeah, so that's kind of what we're finalizing as well. So we haven't put out all the people that we've been partnering with yet, but that'll um, be coming shortly as well, just as we kind of close out our uh, private sale. So. Awesome. Awesome. Um, okay, so roadmap, new website coming. Like what's the Yeah, and then I'll also have I'll have some more um I'll have some more information too on like any sort of sales that are coming and a few sales stuff like that as well in the next couple of weeks. Um because that'll be a big push um for you know anybody creating content for us will be once we have that information out, but we're still ironing out the details of that. Um, right now, but um, so that'll be kind of a, a big thing as well. And I also have a couple more bios coming out. So I'll have like our main artist, um, his bio will be coming out, and then one of our developers too. Um, so that'll be good for you guys to know. And then we should have some more um, concept art coming out this week as well. Um, we just onboarded um, someone who's like really incredible. She did all of our white paper. I don't know if you guys have looked at our full white paper, but she's a Incredible artist, but she actually just came on with us full time. Um, so we'll have some more um, concept art coming from her as well that can be utilized in like videos or any sort of infographics or anything like that too. Oh well, your white awesome. paper. Yeah. Your, I haven't looked at your white paper. It's like really, really nice. This. Yeah, wow. yeah. We spend a lot of time trying to make it aesthetically pleasing as well, just because we feel like white paper is so boring to read. So we try to make it at least somewhat entertaining. Do you, do, um, do you guys, like, are some of you guys working together in an office, or are you guys all, like, fully remote? Um, so most of our um, dev team is actually together in the Netherlands. So they've been working together for years. So they're in the Netherlands, our main project manager, and both of our founders. And then there's a couple of us in the States, like our main um, smart contract, um, like our head of blockchain is in the States, our head of art, um, the head of like, artists is in the States, I'm in the States, and then... We have a couple of people kind of scattered around Asia as well, but the majority are in the Netherlands. Got it. Um, this might this might be a, a little minor, but uh, one of the common feedback that I'm hearing from the Chinese community is that uh, they they join mostly after most of them joined after the OG status 
uh, have been claimed. So we're just wondering if there's like opportunities for other type of status. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, for sure. So tell them that we will be adding other, we will be adding other roles. And I'm actually going to choose those people for those roles based off of their engagement. So I can see um, on our like, you know, level up, um, if you look at the level up channel, I can see who's responding the most, who's writing the most, but there will be a group of people added. Um, to different roles that will have, you know, incentive um, by their engagement in the channel. Um, oh, so, yeah, if you could just let them know that, that there will definitely be other roles and there will be benefits as well. Um, and so, and then we're also going to, when it comes to, like, down the road when we do sales and things like that, we will be sharing on our Discord, like, ahead of time so that the community knows before other people know. Um, there will be incentives of the OGs for sure, but um, there will be other roles that people will be able to get into. Awesome, awesome. I'll share that. Yeah, that'd be great. And then I think other than that, um, yeah, so we have some things coming up with that, but then we wanted to just let you guys know that we will be, um, like, keep keeping our um, relationship going, and um, so I don't know who I would need to just talk to about that, but yeah, we for sure, at the end of the month, you know, Mark and I talked, and we really liked what you guys are doing, and like the content coming out, um, and so we would... Of course, course, like to, you know, keep moving forward together as well. Um, so whatever I need to do to kind of make that happen, um, you guys can just let me know. Yeah, awesome. I guess just the same, the, the same like thing, like you've got a, like we can just paste a, a multi-seg address uh, again. Like, is there anything like that particularly that you'd like want to see more of? Anything you want to see like less of? Like anything that we're doing that, you don't like that you don't want us to do like stuff like that no i mean the trading cards everybody loves the trading cards so if i have more bios come out we'd love to keep doing that um you know, you guys are doing a great job of just creating you know videos around our content and of course we'll have more content coming out too that's one of my big things of wanting the roadmap out and things like that so that you guys have more stuff to work with um but yeah people love the videos any sort of infographics when we have our roadmap come out i would love some content um, around that as well, just maybe people kind of talking about the roadmap, um, creating, you know, graphics around the roadmap. Um, but yeah, and then of course, when our new website comes out, that'll be a bigger push of, you know, I'd love a video of someone, you know, just kind of going through the website, highlighting the, you know, different pages and different things that are going on. Um, but no, I've loved how, yeah, how everybody's really different. Um, everybody's super creative, but I think Obviously, in, infographics, videos, any short content piece is going to get people's attention just because people's attention spans are really small. Um, and what? so, yeah, so I, I really love that. And I can, I'll chat with Mark today some too and, you know, type in the message if there's anything um, else that he's thinking that he would want um, added as well. One thing that I want to, like, like, I want to try and work on more, like, this month is just to get, like, like, as you guys, like, bring in, like, more, like, you know, like, more people into your network and stuff like that, like, we can give some of the content that we're making, like, for example, like, we've been doing the series on the Astral Rarity stuff, right? Like, it would have been cool yeah. if we had have been able to seed some of that content, some of those clips into, like, other influencers, like, hands that aren't in our DAO. Like, oh, for sure, yeah. Um, and and also from like, if there's people from your community that are starting to come, like through that are like super, you know, like, you know, super like passionate people from your community, like that, if we can work a little bit closer, like with those people this month as well, then maybe what we did, and I think that might naturally start to happen because you know, like the whole thing, like B is stuff doing some moderation in the Discord and. So, like, maybe we were wondering, like, you know, maybe we could, like, if we were, if we were, if our creators were a little bit more in your Discord, then we might be a little bit more in tune and maybe we can get some more kind of organic, like, sharing, like, coming out of your Discord as well. If yeah, that, for if sure. that, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, like, just trying to figure out a way to do that where it's not, like, weird or whatever, but, like, like, it would be cool to see some of the content that we're creating, like, I mean, obviously, we can we can put it. There's there's other people in our DAO that, that that share stuff and um, things as well. But we've been posting a lot of it on our Twitter, which I I think is cool. But 
ideally we can get it like more spread out across other like accounts and stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean I would say I would say even posting it in the Discord and encouraging people like kind of as a fan, like you know, posting in our, you know, community chat or memes or whatever, you know, encouraging people like, hey, let's try to like build up this community, let's try to spread the word. Obviously maybe not like every single day doing something, but I think if it looks organic, like you guys are just posting in our community chat, you know, hey, like, you know, we have this video, we just post on Twitter, like you guys should watch it and try to share it. You know, we're trying to build this community up so that people can, you know, get to see infinity skies and things like that. I think that would be totally fine, like posting more in the community chat. Um or any other like channel in there, just trying to get the community to, you know, jump on, jump on board really. Yeah. Yeah. Now, cool. Yeah. Let's try and like work, like work through that a bit more this month. Like, and so like the goal, like, it, like the goal is basically the same, right? It's all about community, right? Like building like the early, yeah, like, community, yeah. So this, right? Like, I would say this, this month it's still the same, just kind of building that community, building that community engagement. Um, and then of course, as we get closer to, you know, sales and launches and things like that, it'll be a little bit different because it'll be us trying to like really inform our community. And um, one of the big things will be too, when I was in London at a conference, you know, they're saying a lot of people just don't even really understand this world still yet. So as we get closer to sales and launching, like a lot of what we'll be doing is also educating people of, hey, this is how, you know, you would get into the game. This is how you can you know, buy NFTs or things like that. So even taking like an education stance down the road with our community, because there's going to be some people who are in our Discord who still don't really fully understand um, what it is that we're doing. So I think, you know, obviously right now it's still building that initial community, but as we go on, it'll be about educating um, community members as well on like how to do things. Um, yeah, there's sense. a lot of people in the, there's a lot of people in the crypto space who are interested in this sort of stuff, but they actually fully still don't fully understand um what to do You're so or even, you know when our token launches so oh yeah keep going oh, sorry i was just going to mention there's definitely a lot of newbies in the in the gaming industry like in terms yeah, of for sure. stuff yeah yeah and even like ones who are like i don't know how like when your token goes launches like people are like i don't know how to buy that i don't know <laughs> you know like people don't understand wallets they don't understand so it's like people are either into gaming or they're into crypto and sometimes there isn't like a bridge um so we'll have to start thinking through just as time goes on like how can we help people and understand things in an easier way yeah yeah i would say like for uh people that are a lot of uh people that are in the gaming sector in like in the crypto space they are a lot of them actually came from the mainstream like you know they have no experience with like buying nft or you yeah. know, just have, having a, a wallet so yeah I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to try to educate kind of both sides down the road. So. Uh, hi, Trisha. Do you have some more law on the game? Because we can expand on this law in our like infographics or videos or generally content about it. Like previously, Sender mentioned that uh, they've already have developed a lot of law on the entire world as well as the culture of the game and stuff like that. Yeah, Yeah. so I would say, um, I don't know if you guys have listened to Sanders' whole um, interview. He gives a lot of detail um, into the game. And then also Mark just did an interview with one of your guys um, as well that I'll be posting. Um, but I would say Sanders' interview gives probably the most detail um, just into every aspect of the game. Um, it's kind of a long interview, but I think it, it's helpful probably for everybody to listen to if you haven't yet. Who who wrote the um who wrote the uh, yeah, we... oh, sorry, you you go, both type Ned. No no uh, as in uh we've already covered a lot on Sanders's uh episode mm. and we will like more information on the law. Like for example, like all those bookkeeper statues, is there more of those? Or is there more like any uh, NPC characters or areas oh, yeah, within yeah, yeah. the so game, have, like different regions that we can yeah, cover on? Yeah, so we actually are hoping to have like an actual, which I forgot to tell you guys, I have this in my notes. We're actually hoping to have like an actual like game, um, kind of like a demo video come out in the next couple weeks. So that will be super helpful too for you guys to build content around. 
Uh, but I'll kind of ask. Uh, our okay, okay, that's good. I'll, I'll ask our development team today if there's any kind of updates they can give me or any graphics or anything like that that we can share with you guys as well. Who who wrote the um who wrote the astral rarity co copywriting? Like, is that person still on the team? Like, is that person? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was probably that was probably Mark and Sander and Brandon together, our smart chain guy. Okay. Um, so yeah, so everybody's still everybody's still on the team. Um, but if you have more questions about that sort of stuff, um, it'd be Sander. Um, but I think Mark's interview they went they went into some. I think they went into some like tokenomics and things like that. I'm going to listen to it today because they just did it on I think Thursday, and I was out of office Friday. Um, so that would be helpful too, and I can make sure that you guys have that as well. Um, but yeah, anything to do with. That sort of stuff, Sander and Mark um, would have definitely more detail, but I'm also hoping that our development team has some more stuff that we can share, even like with you guys this week, just to show kind of where we're at progress-wise. Yeah, guys, I did the interview with Mark on Thursday, and he talked about quite a bit of stuff, not so much lore. We did go into that a bit, and he did share some things that Sander didn't talk about previously. Um, that video is it's on YouTube and unlisted. It's not released yet, just so we could space out our content because we've been pushing all this astral rarity stuff. So we're trying to like not dump all the all the Infinity Sky stuff on the on the public at one time. But I think the link should be in the Infinity Sky QA group. If it's not, let me know. But yeah, it's uh it's a good interview. He he shared a lot of interesting things. Is that the one that you says uh, some of the stuff that he disclosed by accident? Oh, uh, he just wanted the there was a thing with um with Binance like talking about potential funding from the Binance uh war chest or something like that. Maybe maybe Trisha knows more about that. Yeah, it's more just um we have to be careful with some of our wording when it comes to like regulation stuff with like things. And then we haven't um fully landed on using BSC yet. That is the route that we're going, but we just he just wanted to not have it in there so that people weren't totally set on some of that. Um, so yeah, it's more just stuff like that. Like if you careful with certain words we use um, when it comes to like regulations and things, and then DSC, we just kind of wanted to wait until we kind of publicly put that out there. So right, right. Yeah, because we're still filtering. Through. I mean, as you guys know, it's like there's so many opinions on ETH or Solana or Polygon and all that stuff. We're just trying to filter through some of that. I mean, we love ETH, but if, if you guys want to talk with anyone from the Polygon Foundation, let us know because we're working with the Polygon ecosystem DAO. So we've got so also uh, Phantom, Phantom Oasis. Uh, these they're also a launch pad. Yeah. Okay. But but yeah, like yeah, we're, we're trying to filter. We're, we're trying to filter through launch pads right now. There's so many. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yeah, if you're. If if you need to talk with anyone from the Polygon Foundation, like we're pretty much in a chat group with all those guys because we're we're working with them. Um, so, I mean, my yeah, my personal preference is Phantom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Phantom does seem to work everybody, here. Yeah, everybody has a has a definitely a personal. Pre I would say a lot of people though are kind of leaning towards Polygon things like that, which is interesting. Not in our, I mean, just at the conference, a lot of people were talking about it. But. Well, the thing, the thing is like that Binance now has announced $1 billion, right, of ecosystem funding, which is like the biggest, uh, the biggest ecosystem fund in the whole of crypto, like by a mile, yeah. right? So like Binance has been like pretty quiet lately, like as far as I know, like everyone's kind of just like bailed on Binance, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to start picking up steam again because a billion dollars is a lot of money. Yeah, and I know, I wonder if they're quiet for a reason. I've been noticing that too, and I'm like, I wonder if they have like some big announcement. I don't know. It's interesting, but I just feel like right now the whole space is just pretty, I mean, it's pretty crazy, so. Yeah, I think, um, I, yeah, it's just, everything moves in waves, right? Like, you know, we had this big wave of avalanche, right? Like, you know, yeah. and like, we had last time, yeah, we had a big wave of Binance, like, 
you know, the, everything kind of moves in way. I don't really think there's enough people yet for all of the networks to kind of moon at the same time, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're still very, er we're still very early. Yeah. Um, we're like super early. But yeah, I yeah. think, I think my goal this week is just to be able to get you guys more info. Um, of course it's hard, as you know, like, you know, there's some things we have to try to like, make sure we're not communicating to our community. If it's not like a hundred percent set yet or things like that, but I'm going to try to work this week on just getting you some more art, some more assets, and then just, even just more information that you guys can um, put out there publicly. Um, I also think it'd be kind of cool. So, you know, we've done an interview with Marcus Tanner. I think it'd be cool if we did an interview with either our main project manager or even one of our, like, developers or, you know, something something that kind of goes a little bit more into detail, like a big part of Infinity Skies. Um, so I'm going to kind of look at that this week um, as well, just to kind of figure out what what's all the information I can get to you guys. Yeah. I was actually just going to say that it would be great to do more interviews with team members so we get to know who the people are behind the project. Like we got Sander, we got Mark, but also the artist and the, the third person uh, that you were mentioning that's uh, also in the Netherlands. Just yeah. everyone, just knowing yeah. their personalities. Well, and that's actually what was really good for me when we went to that conference in London, because it was actually more of a crypto conference, but people really liked that we were there. And, you know, there's this guy who came up to our booth and he was just grilling Sander. Like, not in a bad way, but just ask, he's a gamer and he was asking a ton of in-depth questions and Sander just knew every answer. And the guy at the end was like, you know, you're the only NFT gaming project I've talked to where you actually have all the answers to these questions. And it's because at the end of the day, like we're gamers, like our main project manager has been designing games for 25 years. And so I think even getting that out there, just people understanding, like we're not just trying to flip NFTs and we're not just creating this project to make money. Like we genuinely want to make a game that people like and we're trying to utilize, you know, the blockchain. But um but that was really good for me to see, like even that interaction of just the guy at the end being like, oh, like you're the first person who's been able to answer all these questions of any gaming project that I've talked to. Okay, I think um, we just got so a quotable I think promoting that, you know. I think we just got ourselves a quotable burger. I think you might have to clip that one, mate. Sure. <laughs> All right. I'll take a look at the recording after. As um, long as I get Trisha's permission, then we can do it. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that, I think that's probably like, maybe. Okay, so we've got like that. It's really important to build the community, right? And the community is gamers. Yeah. Like ultimately, the community is gamers. Like it doesn't matter if they know crypto or if they don't know crypto. That's a secondary concern. Yeah, yeah. Right. So for us, that's what we share too. Like for us, the NFTs, the marketplace, like it's important for us, but that is always going to be secondary to actual game development, like an actual good, exciting, fun game and that, that we have people playing. You know, so. th that's actually that's actually what's going to make the NFTs and everything else even more amazing is that it's a game first. Like it's not a yeah. cash grab to sell because the NFTs are hot right now. Like. It's because NFTs are the future in gaming as well. And you guys just happen to be a gaming, like a forward looking gaming. So like what I'm, what I'm thinking is like, let's try to like bring on some of these hardcore like gaming. Let's reach out to some, this Keggy guy, you know, this guy Keggy. Do you know? Yeah. Him? So actually he's, yeah, he's actually kind of shared some of our information already. Yeah, let's let's try and like. Is it too early to get you guys on, on the on the, on that? That's that guy's huge, right? Like he he makes. No, yeah. So actually, we've we already have relationship with him. Yeah, I've been talking to him, but we're just trying to. Yeah, once we have um a little bit more like stuff to give him. So you know, so like YouTubers, a lot of them um they don't really start promoting stuff with their videos until you know, until launch is a little bit closer just because they have more content. But he's actually already committed to, yeah, he really likes um, a lot of our stuff and we've actually been in conversation with him already. So yeah, I think we're going to start seeing more of that in the next couple weeks actually with him. Um, That's cool. But yeah, with some YouTubers, you know, like we have one guy in Thailand and he's like, hey, I love your game. But he's like, you know, I don't really start making videos until we're like six weeks out just because, uh, again, like people's attention spans is, somewhat short and he said especially with youtube videos like he's like i just need a little bit more content um so once we have you know more stuff coming out once we have our game 
like demo video, um, we'll get some of those YouTube guys. So, but, you know, but, rolling on that. So, but the but the real the real like key here is that we're trying to build like a hardcore community of gamers who love the game and just want to be involved right from the word go. Like they don't care that it's coming out later. They want to be there from the beginning. Yeah, for sure. Right, like that's who we want. And so, and you've seen that all with, and you've seen that with gamers. Like gamers are loyal to the games that they you know, play like they're just, yeah, it's just kind of a very loyal fan base. So yeah, that's kind of yeah. what we're shooting for too, is to get some of those gamers in. So could we, is there, is there any way that we could do like some kind of like, I don't know, like fortnightly kind of like hardcore, like gamers, like meetup or something in your discord or something like that, that we could just shill like, like if we, if there was some kind of like event, like every, I don't know, like Fortnite or a, maybe even a month or something like that, like that was just like targeted towards like purely just, it just has whatever like people who want to be early on a game really want, like we figure out what that is and we just like, is that something that you guys have been thinking about or something like that? Yeah, Sandra and I kind of threw out some ideas um, when we were in London together about some of that stuff. Um, but I would love, yeah, I'll follow up with him and then um, some of our other dev guys because they're really into the, you know, gaming atmosphere as well, just to see what they think, you know, would be something that would maybe kind of bring in gamers, you know. Yeah, like at this stage, what's the most appropriate, like, way to just have, like, just exactly the right kind of people just like regularly just chilling in the discord like and kind of because if we can tap into that we can probably pull out a bunch of content and, and ideas and stuff from that and build the community right like so if there's something like yeah, that, for yeah sure. if there's some yeah like an event like well, it's, I'm, yeah it could be yeah, good in an event where people you know whoever's like around or engaged or whatever maybe they could end up like being people who test the game early or i don't know like some sort of incentive as well like where it's like oh hey like and like that we would get genuine feedback from too um you know because to be honest if people are just and here's the thing we're going to pull in people who are only interested in you know nfts of course that's going to be every game but if we get actual people that we can tell are gamers to kind of test our game and give us like actual real feedback that will be helpful down the road um as well and so even having some sort of incentive in that of like, if you do have an event in our discord, you know, people who are actively engaged or involved can, you know, be some of our early testers. Uh, that could be something that could be really cool. Yeah, it'd be cool if we, I guess we could like, you know, even just start it like something like a little bit grassroots and just like let it like evolve and, get, you know, like if there was something like, because we're, 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 our call to action right now is just like, you know, go to the discord, like be, be early on this game, but if our call to action was a little bit more developed, you know, if it was like, you know, like, hey, if you're a hardcore gamer that actually loves gaming, like this is the, and you love crypto, like this is the project for you, like come and join, like, you know, like maybe there's like a name for the meetup or something, right? Like, and then so the, the call to action just like develops like that little bit more, like, it feels like yeah, definitely, yeah. maybe this month if that like if there was something you know even if maybe it's at the end of the month like you know it takes a month to plan out exactly what it's gonna you know what might be involved like maybe it's just an ama or something with hardcore gamers like at the end of the month and we could just shill that kind of all month like on top of just go to the discord like maybe register you know yeah, like, sure. i don't know like if if that sounds good then we could try and build off that a little bit, like just to develop the call to action a little bit more than just like, Hey, be early on this game. Like, cause it does like what, yeah, sure. what you're saying about like, like that, 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 that thing where we said like, Hey, we should just clip that because that's good. Like it, that kind of feels like it would tie in. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, I totally agree. And I think you yeah. need some sort of incentive too, especially since our roadmap is out yet. Um, and things like that, like I need, yeah, I've been trying to just brainstorm through like with Mark and Sandra of what we could do, but yeah, that's a really good idea. So I have a meeting with Mark tomorrow and 
Um, I'll just kind of pass this with him what he thinks, but I think he would really like um, that idea for sure. Like, how do we get our community more engaged, but also maybe get an AMA with, you know, people who are hardcore gamers or whatever that looks like. Um, but yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, like, and for the, de- you know, like for the, de- you know, like for the, some of the different artists and stuff like that to make appearances, you know, like maybe, you know, maybe it's fortnightly or weekly and maybe like one week it's artists that comes and does an AMA. Well, next week it's the project manager. Next week it's the, you know, like the game engine guy or whatever. I don't know. Like, I'm not actually a gamer, right? Yeah. No, I don't really know. Like, but um, but it, it feels to me like something like that could be like just a catalyst for like at, at the early, like early community stages to get the guys that you really want. Like, and it would give us just a little bit stronger, more... Speaking of inviting people to Discord, uh, Nur, did you have, uh, you said you had a question for... Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Trisha, I need the uh, leaderboard referral data from you. Yeah, so we, at, at the start of the camp, like in the last strategy call at the very beginning, we said that we'll try to get invite people to Discord and we'll, we'll get everyone to use their own Discord link. So, like, if you wanted to yeah, have... I'm a actually, link, I... I'm getting the numbers right now, actually. Yeah, I was doing that this morning. So, yeah, after the call, I can send you guys. I'm just looking for all your names specifically in the... Because um, I have the invite tracker um, in our Discord, and so I'm just kind of on that right now, looking at all the numbers. Um, so I can send that over uh, to you guys today, for sure, to let you know where everybody's at. That's awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. Are we... Yeah, good? of course. No is, there any, yeah. is there anything else, guys? It sounds good. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, for the, on the money side, like, we'll just post a, um, that multi-sig link again so you don't have to, like, dig through. Uh, thanks, Trisha. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, because then I'll be able to send that over to Mark. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, cool. Is it, yeah, and so let's just keep doing this, like, weekly or whatever, yeah? Like, it's pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be good for me as well, and um, and we should have more stuff coming out like pretty much every week. So yeah, it'll be even if it's just a quick touch point. Um, I keep you guys in the loop of everything that's going on. Well, one last question, Trisha. Um, what is the estimated date of uh, when the website will be ready for a walkthrough? Probably. I'm assuming maybe like middle of November, beginning of November. Um, I'll have to double check that though, because we had a lot of, um, it's like pretty like content heavy um, and like graphics heavy. So our main artist is kind of trying to work on it all right now. Um, But I think it's like beginning of middle of November, but I can get that um, more specific date back to you. Um, as well. Okay. Because so, yeah, yeah. we, we can certainly do another Chinese video, but this time with like more uh, graphics, like pictures. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of good. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be awesome. All right. Well, great. I think, yeah, I think I'm good on my end. I'll make sure that Mark um, sends that stuff over to you guys. But yeah, we really appreciate you guys. I've really enjoyed working with you. I love the work. Um, and I think we'll be able to do quite a bit in the next, you know, even couple months with Infinity Skies. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to go really well. So do you guys have a Reddit? Um, so we have it, like, set up, but we haven't really started posting to it yet. So I actually just onboarded a social media manager Friday. Um, so I'm meeting with her today, and the, my first goal with her is to start. So obviously, like, Telegram, Twitter, Discord's moving. I want her to start. She's going to start, um, you know, like, like setting up all of our Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, all that. Awesome. Um, so that'll be kind of starting to happen this week, especially as we were working with Asian communities. Um, I've realized that a lot of them still utilize Facebook. And even though in the States, like, people are kind of done with Facebook, mm-hmm. uh, we need to have that presence, of course. Um, and it'll be easy, you know, she'll just schedule posts to, that'll go to Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're, I'm just, as we're kind of reaching out to Asian communities in general, um, I've just realized a lot of their networks are still utilizing Facebook. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, so that and Reddit will still that and Reddit will be kind of built up this week. It'll be awesome if yeah, you. I, could... I can also assist with the Chinese side of things uh, in terms of Facebook if you need any assistance. Yeah, 
yeah, that would be that would be awesome. And especially when it's people who we know who know the project and we trust because I mean, I'm not obviously I can't understand what's going on in those channels, so that's why it's good for us to have people like you guys in there because I'm like I have no idea what people are asking or you know what they need, and so it's super helpful um, just to have like a broader reach. So. Um, I think we are we cover everything yeah. Doug, so what, we, what do you think yeah maybe if if you want to you can definitely invite the social media um person into our qa channel as well yeah for sure i guess we will have her i'll start adding her into just every channel so she can kind of see how things are looking for because she'll be the one that i'll be sending content to she'll be the one that you know down the road um will be like retweeting what you guys share and stuff like that so um i'm trying to onboard her this week and like obviously a little bit slowly because it's kind of i realize it's a lot for someone to <laughs> step into there's just so much um so but yeah i'll definitely add her in just so she can kind of get a feel for how everything works awesome great awesome 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 i will send you a copy yeah. of this video as well the recording if you yeah 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 that'd be great okay and cool. then um and then i'll send you guys that leaderboard stuff i'll probably be able to get it to you in the next 20 minutes i'm just um finding it all now so. awesome okay great okay um stop